Hey, what's up? I'm Switchback Mongo. This week in Hardcore Minecraft, I'll finally be building something again. Last episode, I spent a good amount of time just planning out the building footprints and pathways for my nether project. But today, I wanna to take this floor plan for my potion brewery and turn it into a real building. Which sounds easy, right? Not for me. This is a build that is completely out of my comfort zone. Most of my projects are really just arrangements of simple geometries. I've never really spent any time designing facades or roofs in this game, but you know, I'm forcing myself into this situation so that I'll maybe learn how it's done. You gotta start somewhere, right? So hopefully by the end of this episode, I'll be able to go from this to something that looks pretty cool. You can be the judge of that, if you hit subscribe first. Hey, welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft, episode 58. More stuff on the nether project. It's coming together really well. At the time of recording this, I just put this path together last night and I think it's a good start. It definitely needs a lot more, but I think we have good things going here. A lot more detail than I normally work with. And I think if I can continue this trend all the way around the island, I think this is gonna turn into a really nice project. I just ran right into this tree. And if you haven't caught any of the previous episodes on this project, essentially what I'm doing here is on this island that I built, I'm constructing a potion brewery, a nether wart farm, a little bit of a storage building going on back there. And then I wanted to include a lava farm in this project as well, but I decided to move that off the island over to onshore over here. So I have two main buildings I'm gonna be working on for the majority of this project. But I also think I have some other functions that I wanna put in it as well. Just much smaller things, kind of like afterthoughts. And so this is is now moving into my third episode on the project and now that I have these buildings planned out from last week I think what my goal is for today is to at least have the design of this potion brewery building put together which is really intimidating like all of my projects in the past have been so big to where to just put the design together in one day is impossible so telling myself to do that seems really scary but i think the fact that it's so small i think it's going to come together really really fast and so i think what's going to be really cool about this episode is it's going to cover something that a i've never done before and b i think is something that would be very helpful to a lot of other builders i've seen this strategy put into place by a lot of people in the past yet not many people talk about the actual process of bringing a plan on the ground to a three-dimensional building and since i've never done it myself i'm not really able to do like a tips and tricks on that kind of thing but i think this episode is sort of going to cover like my struggle through that process and i might be able to come to some conclusion about how to handle it myself that could help some people at least i hope that's sort of like the goal that I have, the outcome that I want to get out of this episode, even though what's very likely to happen is I'm just gonna get frustrated and forget to talk about things. Before I can really talk about how I wanna handle it though, I need to go get more fireworks because these are my last 17. These are my last 17 fireworks. And considering that that project is so far from my main nether portal, it's probably not the smartest thing for me to hang out there without at least a couple of stacks of fireworks. I should just craft all of the fireworks I can right now. That's probably a good practice. Five stacks of gunpowder, five stacks of paper, and that's gonna be a ton of fireworks. What do I even do with all of these? I'm taking them. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take him to the nether. So I have sort of a simple strategy that I came up with for this. I have a little bit of a list that's just the very bare bones checkpoints I'm trying to hit for the process behind this. I have the plan of the building on the ground. It's only the first floor, even though I think I want the building to be two floors. The first step of it all is going to be sort of a massing exercise. My architecture friends are gonna be cringing so hard at that comment. Pretty much what I wanna do is just put like a concrete shape on the island almost like what's there but in three dimensions white concrete lines extend up over the 2d plan and then once i have sort of the frame of everything extended up into a, the third dimension it's really going to be all about picking the materials that need to be part of this building and i think i have some ideas in mind but i'm not going to know for sure until i actually have the shape of the building and then sadly, once I have materials picked, I'm probably gonna need a hunt for them because I think the materials I wanna use, I don't actually have. So we're gonna need to do some some classic mining, mining off camera. camera, maybe. I went ahead and I got us some diamonds. And then my top priority once I have the materials picked is to just make the front look top notch. So that's the list of tasks. And I think I do still have white concrete. That's perfect because that's exactly what I want to build this frame with. I think I'm going to time lapse this, but it might be split in the middle because I'm probably going to need concrete. I guess we'll find out. 
Now it was my original intention to try to capture my thoughts on this process in real time because like I say, my goal was to capture my struggle on this build to share with you all. But I got too focused on making the shape of this building and eventually just fell silent. So I figured the best I can do is explain what was going through my mind. Basically to make this frame three dimensional, I started with the front face of the main hall because that was the most important piece to me and the shape of that would be what informs the shape of the two side pieces. I started with a sort of rounded rectangle with a flat roof, but that made the building look short and stubby to me. So I traded it for a steep gabled roof that made the front face look tall and slender. Much better. And as far as height went, I was really just aiming for something that I could fit two large floors in, or maybe three floors if I really wanted to compress it. And so the first shape that I had was spot on. For the two side pieces, I sort of worked backwards from this. I knew that I wanted the side pieces to be just a bit shorter than the center, so I started with the roof peaks that I built perpendicular to the center roof, and I sloped them down to the outer perimeter of the building, and surprisingly, that was essentially all there was to the shape. Honestly, the frame came together much easier and faster than I had thought it would, but it was also much simpler than I wanted it to be. But I felt that there could maybe still be room to manipulate the shape a bit when I start applying the materials. The weird thing about it is that it definitely works. Seeing this wireframe of it, I think this building is something that could be very real. I think just the fact that this works, I think I can detail it out enough to make it look pretty good. Oh my God. Look at all those Endermen. Why are they all there? It's like they're building a base. They're building a base together over there. I think what I need to figure out is what materials to build out of here. I think the best thing to maybe start with is probably going to be the columns, sort of like the edges, what the edge block should be. And I got two thoughts for it. I think it's either gonna be the warped logs. I think that could be really cool, especially with contemporary shaders because, or not contemporary, complementary shaders. Because with complementary shaders, they kind of light up. They move and they light up. They look really, really cool. But I think that might be a little bit too much. That might be a little bit too much for the edges. Another thought that I had for it though was going to be basalt. I think basalt makes some really great columns, but I'm worried that's gonna clash, like it's gonna blend in too well with the, the path that I have here. I mean, what else do I have that would make a good column? I think basalt is honestly my best bet for columns. Let me try that. Let me, let me like, let's start with the front, this front face right here. Would this be basalt? Or is that weird? I think that's weird. Maybe, oh, maybe that's where the warped comes in, actually. Maybe the whole bottom is the warped logs. So far, I'm not impressed. What would the roof be? I think the roof is going to be blackstone. I'm gonna need some blackstone brick stairs. How many blocks out do people usually put their roofs? I don't know why I hate the look of the roof right there, though. What would the rest of the walls be? It's definitely not warped wood. It's definitely not anything blue. Man, the, the, I, the material I want, I don't actually have. I almost want calcite as the walls. And I think I have actually no calcite. It definitely can't all be calcite though. Maybe calcite and spruce. Ooh, that's a good combo. I gotta go get calcite if I wanna try that out. And I don't think I have any. And I don't know where to go look for geodes. Well, it's definitely gonna eat me alive if I don't go get any. I guess my best plan is to check at home first and just hope for the best. I have a couple of stacks. Definitely not enough though. So I mean, maybe if I find like one more geode, I could get enough. I guess let's just go out to my 1.17 chunks. Man, why is it gotta be nighttime right now? No, while I'm looking for geodes, it's gotta be nighttime. Is this a boat or a geode? I think this is a geode. Is it neither? No, this is a geode. I found one. I don't have any torches. Oh, frick. I kind of just need the calcite. I'm just gonna mine from the outside right after I get a third trident, though. Or I don't know how many tridents I have. I'm gonna get another trident really easily, though. Ow. I think I just got one. I did get one. No way. Man, I hear mobs. I just want a torch really bad. That helps. Now I can see. Oh my god, another trident. Oh, dude. Whew. Forgot I'm playing a horror game. And frick you, spider. I'm killing you. I just need torches. I barely picked up any calcite. I mean, I've doubled my supply. If I can get to five stacks, I'm going to assume that is more than enough to finish the front facade. What I set out to do. Ow, what am I doing? Mongo afraid of the dark confirmed. Okay, I got my fifth stack, I'm out, I'm done. Ruined portal, right over here. Another enchanted golden apple coming up. I'm gonna have six. Never mind. Yeah, look at that guy with his ender pearl. A full iron armor and an ender pearl. That guy looks sick. Hey, let's get you in a house, buddy. Ow. All right. I hope he stays there because he's kind of sick. Please look good. Please look good. 
Please look good. This is gonna be really ugly for the first little bit. It's okay though. I hope that it looks good after a minute or two. It does need to be set back one block because the spruce is what's gonna be on the face of the wall. Give me spruce planks. And let me craft up a couple of variants. Give me some stairs, some slabs, and some trap doors, as expensive as they are. This is like the same strategy that I just used in my shulker room. So I don't know how I feel about it, but I think I could make something work with it. I mean, like that could be like the first floor. Give me the calcite. Something's not quite right about that roof, but I think I can make something with it work because I really like the way this facade is going. Yeah, this is totally going somewhere. I don't know how to do windows exactly though. Maybe it should just be something small. I don't think I know how to do little tiny windows like that. Yeah, it's not right. Something's not right there. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. I mean, that's a window. It's a weird window. I don't think it's right. Something is off on that window. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need a slab up top? Oh no, I can't put a slab there either. Frick. I don't know. I say, I mean, I'm just gonna leave that for a while and hope that maybe it'll come together later because I think the shape of that and how it breaks up the calcite in the background, I think it's very nice. It's just too heavy. I need to figure out how to make that not as heavy. I'm gonna look into this later. The last thing that I wanted to do though is I wanted to try to figure out a little bit more spruce up there to look good. Yeah, that definitely helps it a lot. If I make that a full block, I can place a soul lantern on it. Oh my god, it's almost like that house looks like it's got a ball pattern. A little funky. We're getting a little bit weird now. No, it looks pretty good. Now it's lit. Dude, what the frick? Switchback Mongo doesn't build like this. This is pretty good. Imagine that on the whole front of the building. We're gonna make this thing look great. Completely different style than I normally do. Let me cover these up. And then I like the warped wood because as soon as I turn the complimentary shaders on, that stuff's gonna light up. It's gonna look great. But that is a pretty good looking facade if you ask me. And there's an Enderman on top of it. Just chilling on top of my house. Yeah, look at that thing way off in the distance. This is gonna be sick. I have the list. I have the list of materials written down that I need to get. I have calcite. I need to get a lot of calcite. I have warped logs, which I may already have enough of, but if I need to go get more, that's no issue. Spruce. Spruce is very easy to get, very easy to farm, very easy to get. And blackstone. Blackstone might be the hardest thing to get, but the good thing about going for blackstone, and I know you can trade with piglins, and I don't have a gold farm to trade with piglins yet, so I'm gonna need to mine for it. But the good thing about mining for it is that it's kind of fun to look for netherite at the same time as looking for underground pockets of blackstone. So I think I'm gonna spend the next few hours just gathering my materials, starting with the calcite. Snowing, you know what? I honestly should wait here. I should wait here during this snowstorm, see if I get any more powdered snow. I think we have a lot at two thirds. One of these has to fill up. Hey, the zombie's still there. Boop. Hey, we got one. That's a full cauldron. Oh, give me a second one. I want a second, I want a second. Snow bucket. Dang it. Okay, whatever. Now it's onto the calcite. Where are you at, geodes? It needs to be daytime. It's so much easier to find these in the daytime. Just one. Heck yeah. The small geode. I'm gonna collect the amethyst too, just because. The fewer times I need to go exploring for geodes, the better. And I need to silk touch these. I need to have all of these. And I can silk touch all the different ones, right? Wow, I can. Oh, I love it. I love it. I can silk touch even the little ones. All right. I think I consider this to be rated pretty well. At least now a bigger geode would be easier to find. Much easier to find them during the day. Is that a geode or is that a shipwreck? Shipwreck. This is a geode though, for sure. It's a big one. Oh, this is spooky. Two creepers in there and this guy. I get, I get nervous about this stuff. Yeah, this is a big geode. This is nice. Oh my God, you gotta get out of there, dolphin. Get out of there. I'll give you a little bit of air there. That now she'll be fine. She'll, she'll probably get hurt a little bit, jumping in and out of the water, but she has air and a lot of room to swim. She's fine. All right, that's good enough for me on this geode. Sun's about to go down too. If I can find one more during this day, we'll probably be in pretty good shape. Why are my fireworks not working? Oh, cause I don't have the, oh my God. Ooh, I thought that was a creeper. Oh my God, that scared me so bad. Dude, Frick drowns, man. Frick hardcore Minecraft. Like, why am I playing this? You'd think after a whole year, I'd be fine with this kind of stuff. That's a geode though, that's a little one. Are there any bigger ones anywhere? Any big boy geode? Please? Looks like I'm getting a little one. Yeah, this thing's tiny. Do I, I don't even wanna loot this. Yeah, this thing's tiny, what the heck? Yeah. 
less than three stacks of calcite on that. Can I find one more? I think it's a yes. Right next to it. Oh my god! Holy moly, I literally landed right in his mouth. Why is this game scaring me so bad today? I don't even care about looting. Just leave. Ah, oh, shoot. We're like in a really bad spot here. Oh my god, dude. What the frick is that? Fly away and come back. This is ridiculous. Are we worried about trident boys? Yeah, there's creepers in here. Stop. Leave me alone. Please. Give me like 30 seconds. Are you freaking kidding me? What is this game? Can we just chill out? Can Mongo just please get this geode? Just relax. Pick up the amethyst. Get the calcite. And get out of here. Simple as that. Don't freak out. There's no reason. There might be a little bit of a reason to freak out. All right, you know what? With this geode barely looted, I'm gonna say that I probably have enough. I need to go get other stuff anyway. 1 a.m., I gotta go get other th other things. So now I just need warped logs, spruce, and blackstone. And I say we just do the relaxed tasks now, just cause getting calcite was pretty scary. And growing spruce trees is just a chill time. So I'm gonna do that next before going for blackstone. And it's gotta be nighttime. Gonna have phantoms while I'm trying to get trees. Sure would be sick to see a diamond mob around here. I think just this set of trees is all I'm gonna need anyway. This is this is a ton of logs. What? How? How are you alive? How are all of you alive? It's morning. It's literally day. Man, this sunset or this sunrise is beautiful. This is the best looking game there is. I mean, look at that chicken. Look at all those logs. I'm good. I'm ready. All that's left is blackstone. You know what? You know what would actually be kind of cool? We should go nether mining at the nether project somewhere on the shoreline there because that gives me something else that I could build. Something small. I could, I could build a, a small mine entrance that could look really good on the shoreline. And if it comes back that I don't actually want to build it, I can just, you know, seal up the hole where I dug. Oh my gosh, dude. We're freaking killing it. First time I flew back here with this thing here. I'm killing it. Uh, where should I mine? I kind of want it to be on the shoreline of the blue biome, but the problem is that that is all terrible places to mine because we definitely just have a lava ocean underneath that. To be honest, everywhere around here looks pretty rough. Maybe there? That could work. That could actually work. Mining right there. There's a cave here. Perfect entrance. Hmm, that doesn't look so good though. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, and I'm stuck. This is why you don't play Minecraft at 2 a.m. Uh, come on. What? And I just did it again. What am I doing? It's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. No. Even in the nether, Mongo will run into gravel. And even in the nether, he won't use his shovel. All right, this is why 15. This is where we want to be. There we go. Blackstone pocket. Heck yeah. Ancient debris. I feel like I always need to clarify that I do know the word is debris. Two of them. Can we make it three? Nope. Wait, oh my God, it is three. What do you know? Aren't three veins very, very rare? Pretty sure they are. All right, got that pocket taken care of. For the most part, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm gonna look for another one. Wow, I am just rolling in ancient debris today. Five pieces in one day. And also another black stone pocket. It's perfect. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? I only made it worse. Huh. What the heck, dude? I'm actually cracked. I can't not find ancient debris. I've been mining for like 30 minutes and that is six pieces of ancient debris. Seven pieces of ancient debris. All right, I think I'm pretty good on blackstone now, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a lot of blackstone. We're good. Oh, it's so good. What the heck, man? I don't build like this. Now that I have all the materials I need, I'm coming back tomorrow, and I'm finishing the design. It's gonna be sick. Huh? Day two. I'm just building. Just gonna be just gonna be having some fun, I guess. And I think it's gonna be pretty easy, actually. I mean, I just gotta do it the same way that I did this front face. Just start with the columns, then the calcite, and then fill in the rest. Well, 
there it is. I think that's where I'm gonna call the design. I am so excited about how this turned out. This is like a step up from anything that I've ever built. For being totally out of my wheelhouse, I think I, I killed this.